morning everyone, Serge Bavik here. You're at Hooked for a nice meal. Very excited, very thrilled. So I'm gonna be taking my boys fishing. I remember when we first came here to the United States, my dad would wake me up in the morning to go flounder fishing. So now we're gonna go out, we're gonna have some fun. So see you guys on the water. guys so we are in the water we're gonna start fishing when it comes to fishing it's always competition who's gonna catch the biggest one and who's gonna catch the most so this is my setup I gonna use uh, this fishing pool it's all salty fishing pool I saw this fishing pool on deer meat for dinner Rob Arrington using it and uh, I tried it I bought it and I loved it it's very sensitive very con convenient to, to catch fish with it uh, real spinning reel it's a really good reel very good quality uh, real and my setup is uh, one ounce sinker uh, two hooks uh, medium sized hooks and uh, about six inch liter uh, 14 to to 16 feet apart for the bait we're gonna be using chicken breast it works really good you can use about anything I one time I tried hot dogs and it worked really good you can use night crawlers uh, the best is sandworms. Well, I know me and my dad, we used to go out early in the morning when the low tide uh, and dig for the sandworms. Sandworms not only working for flounder, they work really good for surf perch. So let's go and start catching them right now. Well, I remember one time me and my dad, we went out fishing for uh, flounder fishing. And uh, we were using rubber boat, about nine foot boat, two seater and uh, we got off like 50 feet away from shore and start catching flounder. Back then flounder, no limit was on it, you could, unlimited, you can catch as many as you want. So we start catching flounder and all of a sudden my dad got a big fish on. We thought that was a big fish. So when he pulled it out, uh, lift up in the air a big dangerous crab. So that crab came off the hook, fell in the boat, punctured the boat and we start sinking. The boat start filling up with the water. By the time we got back to shore, it was all filled up with the water. <laughs> I got one. There we go. Look at the beautiful. Look at this beautiful flounder. Somebody asked me earlier on previous videos that uh, flounder got a lot of worms on them. You can see this flounder is clean. No worms. Looks really good. Yeah, this flounder is really good eating. Some people don't like the flounder. We love flounder. This is the very first fish that we were catching when we first came to the United States.
a fish on. Yep, fish on. All right, look at this beautiful fish. It's a really good size. Yeah, look how beautiful this flounder is. Uh, brown spots on it. No worms. I see some sea lice, but no worms. Nice and, and uh, clean. And it's really good size. It's about eight inches. Fish on. <laughs> All right. What do we got here? Oh, yeah, another flounder. Oh, it's a good size. Philip got nine, Matthew got six, and I got only five. So boy, boys kind of kicking my butt. So one time my dad was telling me a story that a bunch of friends, guys got together on a fishing trip. And uh, all of them considered really good fishermen. And uh, they began fishing. One of the guys was using uh, night crawlers. And instead of uh, ripping the worm in two pieces by hand, uh, he would put the whole worm on the hook and bite this, uh, the half off with his teeth and kept the worm on the inside of the um, mouth. By the end of the fishing day, he would have a whole bowl of worms in the mouth. And he was keep switching it from chick to chick with his tongue spitting out the juices. <laughs> That's a that's a real fisherman right there. <laughs> All right, Matthew. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, this is really good size. A very beautiful flounder. Number seven. It's a good looking fish. I cannot see it. It could be a shark. So what have we got here? Let's see what have we got. Oh, it's a shark. It's a shark.
I had comments uh, asking me about flounders. Uh, every time they catch flounders, they have worms in them. Uh, once in a while it happened to me, most of our flounders that we catch here doesn't have any worms. If it does, uh, one or two, that's a blood worm. So what I usually do, I make a little cut and squeeze them out. After you're gonna fully cook them, it's not gonna harm you. Pretty much every fish got some kind of worms in it. So after you fully cook, it's gonna neutralize it. It's not gonna hurt you. Our fishing coming to an end. Philip won it. He catch 15 first. I came second. Then Matthew came third. Now we're gonna go home, clean the fish. guys so we are back home now I gonna start cleaning the fish back then in Ukraine or very first we came to United States my mom she didn't know how to fillet a fish so what are we gonna do we're gonna repeat the way she was doing it clean the scale off got it and pan fry the whole fish so we're just gonna start uh, taking the scale off and on this flounder I don't know usually it's really hard to to scale the flounder but this one here is so easy you can see that the, they almost all gone we're gonna we're gonna leave the head on it all we're gonna do is just take the scale off make sure it's completely gone and look pretty good to me so now I'm gonna make a little cut right here and open up the belly and clean everything what's on the inside the guts out that's milk I'm gonna just wash it out. So pretty much like this, it's all cleaned. Uh, maybe get some of those gills out. Yeah, we don't wanna eat the gills. So we fin finished cleaning this flounder. Now I'm gonna finish the rest of the flounders and get back to you and we're gonna be ready to prepare the meal out of them. Good morning, everyone. So yesterday we finished cleaning the fish. We iced it really good. We placed it in refrigerator. But today we're gonna need some vegetables to prepare the beautiful meal. So we're gonna start with potatoes. We plant potatoes earlier this spring. Now they're flowering. We're gonna start digging and see if we can get some potatoes. So this is plenty good enough for the meal. So now we're gonna go get those cucumbers and some green onions.
yeah look at this beautiful cucumbers they're small and sweet so we're gonna make really good salad now we're gonna pick some onions for salad this is gonna be cucumber onion and tomato salad For the recipe, we're gonna need some tomatoes. Since our tomatoes still green, we're gonna have to buy some. And also, we're gonna need some red dishes. Uh, <clears throat> I forgot about the dills. We're gonna need a little bit of a dills, not much. Dills for on top of the young potatoes. How about that much? That's that's good enough. So we got all of the vegetables except tomatoes. This is gonna make a really really good salad. So I'm gonna start with the salad. This is the salad that my mom was always making when I was a kid, when we first came here to the United States. Pretty much everything that we grew on our garden, tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, and radishes. Now I'm gonna season my fish, but I gotta make sure it's all dry, it's not wet. So I'm gonna use paper towels to dip it and get the, all of the moisture out. I'm gonna start with uh, garlic salt. Add pepper to your likings, it doesn't have to be much. I love black pepper, so I'm gonna put a little bit more. Then I'm gonna add some Everglades fish and chicken. Put on the other side, and do same thing on the other side. I'm gonna dip my fish in the flour. So we're gonna be using the bacon on top of the potatoes. So I'm gonna cut them in about one inch pieces.
Our cast iron pan is hot. It's ready to pan fry the fish, so we're gonna start frying our fish. Look how big it is. I'm gonna salt this salad. Add some salt. How about that much right there? It's good. Just a little bit of a pepper. I'm gonna add some avocado oil. This is gonna be our dressing. How about that much? Oh yeah. How about that much? Yes. And I'm gonna give it really good stir and you can add salt to your likings depends on the pepper you can add some dry pepper yeah look at this beautiful salad it's a home style salad that my mom been making for years It's so looking good. This bacon right here. Oh man. Yeah, I want some of that. Oh, it looks, looks so good. Look how big is this flounder. It's so big, the tail hanging over the plate. And this is the, <laughs> man, oh man, this is the really good stuff. I'm telling you guys, this salad, it's organic, it's so good. That's what we've been eating all the time. Fresh stuff out of our garden, veggies, cucumbers, onions, tomatoes. Tell me this is, doesn't look good. Look at this beautiful meal. This is what we used to eat all the time in Ukraine when we first came to United States. Me and my dad, we would go fishing and our mom would prepare a meal like this. Now I'm gonna taste this. Of course, I'm gonna start with the flounder. Mm. It's so juicy, mild and sweet meat. I love the whole fish pan fried. It's not dry. It keeps all of the juices on the inside. And the young potatoes. What a good combination. 
flounder, young potatoes, they're so sweet. A little bit of a bacon on top and salad. It's, it's so juicy and so tasty. I forgot to mention, this is the tastiest part of this fish. <laughs> That's what we used to do when we were kids. Start with the tail. This meal is just awesome. Brings up old memory. Me, my dad, my siblings, we would go out, catch a lot of fish. My mom would make a really good meal. We would sit down and enjoy it together. Now we're gonna wrap it up. I wanna thank you for watching our YouTube channel, Hooked for Nice Meal. Please thumbs up, subscribe, and leave the comments below. So see you guys on the next video.